Let's talk about this. Uh, AW yes. sells out Forbidden Door pay per view, the New Japan uh, venture that they have. Yeah, that was going to happen. Like, oh, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any why anyone would think that wouldn't happen. I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> Chicago is the hottest market for pro wrestling right now, in outside of Atlantic City, New Jersey, Andrew's favorite city. Uh, it's Asbury Park, it's New the, Jersey. Yes. Listen, it's I don't hate New Jersey. I don't hate New Jersey. I'm just going to tell you, if you guys want a good time, go down to Bar A, okay, in Belmar. Mm -hmm. You'll have a fantastic time there. <laughs> I don't know if you'll... I don't. I, it, it depends on your definition of fantastic. Someone may, I don't know, uh, punch you. If you, may, ever you may get cut, but you may, it may be a great <laughs> night for you. Okay. Like John Cena at that club in 04. Yeah, yeah. It, it could be a fantastic night for you. Just uh, just if prepare yourself for, for bar A by watching seasons one, two, and I think five of Jersey Shore. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> AEW sells out the Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Uh, they sold 11,000 tickets on their pre-sale, which was Goodness expected. Gracious. Sold 3,000 tickets that were left for general admission. Now, you know, here's the thing. There's 42 tickets available, all platinum seats. Uh, official mm -hmm. platinum tickets, which are the super expensive seats. Those are going to go, obviously. Uh, the yeah. current setup and capacity is 13,598. Ticket distribution is 13,556. And there are, there's about 17, about 1,800 tickets for resale as of today. 17,75, well, I should say. That's a great ratio. That is a yeah. really good ratio for resale against straight purchases. Um, I think that they might open it up a little bit more i feel like the the argument is design versus commerce because we grew up in a generation where pay-per-view sets were a thing yeah. and we were in the dark ages where it was just the walkout ramp maybe you got a banner then you got the new generation video wall uh and then when you got deeper into the 90s the late 90s into like 2010 ish like when they went to a full hd they they turned away from that but i think for this a simple set to fill that place as much as possible that's a that's the best ambiance well, for that's what they like did that. with arthur ash they didn't really have yeah. anything at arthur ash they just had you know did, were you there did you go to arthur ash no i didn't go to okay. arthur ash. you, they you know like i wasn't at arthur ash i couldn't have gone you couldn't have gone yes you couldn't have gone. i couldn't have gone uh, house arrest. I know it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> that that show. Oh, I know why you couldn't go. Of course. Mm. Uh, that show. It had a very simple ramp setup. No, they're gonna have to do something big. Obviously, United Center. Yeah. But uh, maybe I don't know how many more tickets they could fit in there. I don't know what the setup is gonna be. But you know, I, I think, think you could do seventeen. What do they do? What do they do with CM Punk? Uh ooh, him and Okada could be fun. Him and Kenta. Him and Kenta, obviously. Would, no, no, no. I'm saying at, at the United would, Center. At the United Center when he when he showed up. Oh, what was, it, what was the final uh, number? I, I can't seven, remember. Was it like it was between fourteen and seventeen? I don't know what yeah. the final number was. Uh, yeah, I, kayfabe. Number I was or, there. I just I, I didn't I didn't have my ball strike clicker. I didn't have my seat counter, so I couldn't. Yeah, yeah you should have done that. You should have been counting the yeah. seats. So I was too this busy is talking be an to Mike. Pay per view. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting pay per view. Um, you know, they're still working. On, there's no matches. So it shows no. the importance of this and how people yeah, are into yeah. it. Now, obviously, think... these are there was an argument online over this mm -hmm. where people were no! assuming nobody would be interested in this and people wouldn't be watching it. And uh, if the casuals are not going to go and if male driven, uh, dude, it, it's, it's a combat sport. At the end of the day, we're not this isn't I know that we pretend a lot of times this is performance art. Some of it is. But at the end of the day, it, it's people hitting each other in the head, you know? People beating each other up. Of course, there's going to be more <sighs> male-driven of a product. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you want you want a female fan base, 100%. WWE does a great job at that. But you can't. You could come up with all the excuses you want. The reality is, this is the first time this is happening, and people are very mm -hmm. invested in it. 